Just making sure everything's stable before I start talking. Okay, on a side note, forgetting what's happening on screen, let's go Oregon. Undefeated this, this season? Come on, baby. I'm going up to the game in about four hours for against Maryland, so this will be great. Here's the problem. I spent $80 on this aircraft. 80 Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microtransaction capital of America. BMG is supposed to be the best at creating very authentic, working aircraft. We're in the PMDG 737-800. I'm in the Alaska livery because why the hell not? We have a problem. I've, start, I've started at Bedford at the on the on the general aviation parking ramp. I'll tell you what I've done so far. That's the bug and it's currently working. That's what the blue highlighted dial is. I'm not even touching it. That's why you know it's a bug. I'll tell you what I did. I turned on the batter uh, I turned on the battery because we started cold and dark. I turned on the battery. I immediately turned on the APU and then I turned on the APU generators. Then I played with some lights. Then I turned on the probe heat and the window heat, and I've started aligning the aisle, the IRS. There is a bug in this game. It doesn't matter if it's this switch or a or a different switch. So we'll use we'll use the MCP panel to to, to realize this. What's happened, David? I grab the dial. I'm using my controller. I'm using the left and right uh, controller. So what's happened? All right, where were we? Oh, we were on the cabin uh, temperature. If you're in this aircraft and you're using a controller and you're using the left and right triggers to change the position of the dial and you accidentally hit the A button while you have the dial selected, the dial keeps constantly fucking spinning. Why is this a problem, David? One... It happens to every single dial that has multiple positions. The reason why it's a problem is this reason right here. I cannot fly this aircraft in autopilot without a working MCP with dials that actually fucking work. We're on Xbox. We don't have mods. So this is a PMD aircraft 737 bug. And because no one flies this fucking thing because everybody is flying other aircraft, no one's been reporting this. So I'm going to be the first one to say something. We can't fly this aircraft. I can't set heading. I can't set speed or course or altitude. We're going to crash.
same exact bug. You use the left and right triggers, and then you accidentally hit the A button before hitting the B button to back out of the dial. You're going to crash. That's a, bu that's a bug. So it's left or right trigger and A button before deselecting the dial with the B button. We have a problem. I can't set speed or heading or altitude or vertical speed without crashing the aircraft. I would love to test fly this freaking aircraft that I spent $80 for, but I can't get this thing off the ground without dying. Because every single dial in this cockpit will do that if you hit the triggers and hit the A button. That's a problem. If anybody's got a workaround for this, I, I would appreciate it, but... See, even if I just even if I just select the altitude dial and hit the A button, it'll automatically start dial fucking. That's the new word I'm going to create. The new word is called chat. The new word is called dial fucking. Because PMD doesn't know how to make an aircraft that isn't fucking bugged. It's either the aircraft or it's Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox One S or the Xbox Series S. I'd hate to think it's Microsoft. That's the end of this video. Now we're going to try something. So that's the video that's going to get uploaded to YouTube later. Right now I'm going to try to see if we can... Uh, find out why my life is being ruined. None of this shit has anything to do with, uh, yeah. That's the triple seven, that's the 47, that's the 320, that's the triple seven, there's the PMDG aircraft that I spent actual money on and then we have the Pelican and the Maverick um let's see if it's deliveries before we go any further let's see if it's deliveries because it would be really unfair if it's actually the liveries and not the actual aircraft Ramp number one. Here's a live demonstration to see if the bug is tied to the livery or the aircraft. I'll give I'll, I'll give PMDG a pass if it's not the aircraft. If it's the livery, I'll give them a pass. But if other people want to fly this airplane with cool liveries, then they're going to have to be mindful of that freaking bug. Okay. We're going to do exactly what I did last time. Okay. Go to the main panel. Turn the battery on. APU on. We're going to wait for the generator to kick on. Because it's faster to kick on the APU than it is to call for ground power in the FMC and then request the tug. Because you can't just instantly have ground power on the ground. Obviously, you need the cart. But it would take too long to call the cart. And it's just faster to just flip three switches than it is to call the cart and flip the switch. Yeah. 
APU's up. We're going to turn on the storm lights so we can see around the cockpit a lot easier. We're going to switch the AC source to the generator. Circuit breaker light. Panel light. Initiate the IRS. Y'all dampener. Probe heats, window heats. Um and then panel light. Background flood, master flood, panel, pedestal, cat. All right, that shit's all kicking off. All right, and then this was the next thing I did. Now that we have the lights set up, we can close the emergency lights and arm them. Turn on the passenger sign. Now we're going to play with the thermometer. Nope. It's a PMGG bug. It's an aircraft bug. Wow. Hey, PMDG, why are you gay? Why are you gay? This is retarded. I can't use this aircraft. <laughs> 